on here. Um, this is Chris Pettit with First 15 Live for July the 6th, um, 2017. Happy you're on. Today we're talking about the right way to be angry. As soon as you jump on, please comment uh, and share. Let me know that you're here and share to let everybody else know you're here and so they can jump on as well. Um, Margaret, glad to have you. Pete, glad to have you. Jennifer, glad to have you. Um, I, I don't always show me everybody's names, like Larry. Good morning, Larry. You didn't tell me you were on here until you commented, so um, thank you for that, Larry. Sonny, good morning. Jennifer, good morning. Tammy, good morning. Good to see you yesterday. Thank you, Pete, and the one other who shared. Um, today we're talking about anger, so I'm excited about that. Uh, <laughs> it's a good topic. So we're going to talk about the right way to be angry. Um, how to make it happen, so, um, cool. Good morning, Janine, Margaret, glad to have you on here, Terry, glad to have you on here, Shawnee, good morning. Please share, share, share if you haven't done so, and, and let me tell you something that helps, if you will share, um, and actually type something in, you don't have to, you know, if you don't have the time, just click share and, and share it normal, but if you have a minute, um, put something in there about, man, excited about what I'm going to learn this morning, or or that kind of thing. Um, yeah, excited about being angry, like Pete just put in there. You could do um, so. Whatever, whatever uh, you want to put in there, I think it gives people a little bit more than than a share. So um, cool, Gail. Good morning. All right, let's dive into this. We're coming from Psalm chapter four, verse four. Also, remember, I'm going to put in um, a link to a video uh, as soon as we get done with this. Um, it took me just a minute or two in the comments there, and um, be sure to to check it out. Because, uh, or just spend some time in worship if you got your own worship music. Um, that's the goal, right? Is we want every believer to, to have a dedicated time that they spend with God every morning. So, um, good morning, Gail. Glad to have you. Happy birthday yesterday, Angie. Uh, good morning. So, here we go. Um, Psalm chapter 4, verse um, 4 says this Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. And then it, it says, um, Selah, which is kind of the sit back and think about that one, you know? <laughs> um, thank you, Shawnee, and the six others who shared. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, please share, share, share. Um, the um, Anyway, so uh, it's. let me read it again. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Interlude. Selah. Think about it. And uh, that's tough, isn't it? Because part of anger is the adrenaline running through you and... Ah, I can't believe this. Um, Megan Smith, glad to have you. You're awesome. I've been seeing your babies in your Instagram feed, and they're cute. Um, so, Uncle Chaz, what's up? That's from Pete. That's funny. All right, cool. Glad to have you on here. So, here's the deal. We want to be angry. It's okay to be angry. And in fact, anger is an important emotion. God got angry. And here's why anger is so important, because emotions... What emotions do, you can't base your life on emotions, okay? Your life should be based on principles. That's a word from somebody, or for somebody today. Um, but, but what anger and all of our other emotions do is they trigger change, right? Like, think about your life. The, the, um, I'll tell you, when I was a young man, I battled heavy, heavy, heavy uh, with lust and even pornography um, when I was real young and, um, and first got saved, and I wrestled. I wrestle. Is this too honest for some of you <laughs> for a morning devotion? Like, dang, we went there. Um, and I wrestled with that. And I and I, I would pray and I'd say, God, man, set me free. And I'm so sorry I sinned. And um, and it wasn't until I got angry, like I got to a point where I was so sick of of struggling and I was so sick of sin that I got angry and I got mad about it. And and that completely transformed my life. It it that that emotion stirred the change. Does that make sense? And so um, that's that's what some of you need. You need to learn that your anger is not for lashing out at your wife. Come on, somebody. Your anger is not for belittling your husband. Your anger is not for yelling at your kids. Your anger is not for blaming other people or or um, you know getting mad at your boss and 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 gossiping behind people's back. That's not what anger is for. Joyce, glad to have you this morning. I'm in your neck of the woods. I'm about to go in here for my Bible study with Mike Free. If you're in the Hartsel area on Thursdays. Thursday morning, 6.30, um, here at the Warehouse Coffee Shop. You can't miss it. Mike Freeze, the man. Uh, anyway, you, you, anger and, and all these emotions should push you to change. So don't get angry at your wife 
right? Don't get angry at your husband. Don't get angry at your kids. Don't get angry at your boss. Allow the anger that you feel. Realize that that emotional response is God trying to to get you. Hey, look, we got a special a special treat here. That's that anger is a is God trying to get you to change. Uh, ah! Pastor Josh from Cowboy Church. What's right up? Here. Hey, dude, killing it about what well, y'all are like four, four fifty, something like that. Yeah. Uh, in a pasture, out in the middle of a field. Look. In a barn. In a barn, but the barn's in the middle of a field. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have a buddy who lives there. It's it's right on the outskirts, right between Hartsel and Fautville, and. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I got a buddy who lives that way, and he, 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 man, he's like, man, they're killing it. Every, every Sunday, like, you can't, the parking's crazy. I mean, there's cars everywhere, um, awesome stuff. God will use cowboys and city boys. Come on, somebody. <laughs> He'll use you wherever you're at, somewhere in between. Hey, we're talking about anger. Tell us something about anger. We're talking about how anger, God uses anger. You shouldn't lash out at people, but he uses it to help you change. Yeah, I just think it can't control you. You know, I think when we allow anger to control our lives is when it has the negative effects in our life. However... You know, anger is, a, is an emotion that God does give us, um, but when it begins to control us and it begins to take over who we are, then then it begins to have the sin effect on our life. And that's why it says don't sin while you're angry. I think that's uh, that's when that, that sin starts controlling you and it, it messes up your life. So. Boom! Boom! There you go. A little freebie there from Pastor Josh. Uh, he didn't even know what we were talking about. He just pulled in the parking lot for the devotion or, that we have this morning. And... Uh, and just killed it right there on the spot. So, hey, love you guys. Hey, be angry and do not sin. In fact, um, and it, I don't even think it just means don't sin, like don't let your anger cause you to sin. I think it means be angry so you can stop sinning. You actually need to get angry about the sin in your life. You need to get angry. If you're mad because of something with your spouse, you need to get angry and fix your marriage. If you're mad at your kids, you need to get angry and fix your parenting. If you're mad about your church, you need to get angry and fix your part in church that you're supposed to be doing. Come on, somebody. You need to get angry and allow it to help you, that anger to help you to not sin. Come on. That's the word for you today. Uh, let me pray for you. I'm going to encourage you. Father, um, I pray for everybody watching this, Lord, their world changers, Lord, that you would you would get them angry about something. Lord, you get them angry about um, sex trafficking, God, and young girls who are being adopted and, and, and forced into sex slavery, God. You get them angry about kids who are starving uh, in, in other countries and in, in our own country, Lord. You get them angry about people below the poverty level, God. You would get them angry about um, the sin in their own life, God. You would get them angry about their marriage not being where it needs to be, God, and you would cause change in their life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus um, and Lord I pray for those uh, world changers God who are battling cancer for Cedric Lord we just declare your healing over him thank you for what you're doing in his life for Cindy God we pray for her for Greg for Mama, for Miss B God that you would pour out your spirit on them right now God and bring healing we thank you for that God uh, Lord Help us to change the world today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, be angry at the fact that there are people who are going to go to hell today. And you need to be God's avenue of encouraging them, touching them, and leading them to Christ. And you can do that simply by giving them an encouraging word, praying for them, and that all that. So we love you. Um, appreciate you. Uh, be sure to share this. Um, comment. You can share with a little blurb from what maybe what your favorite uh, part of this was. And uh, let's watch and see what God does as he makes us all angry so that we can defeat sin. Love you. All right. Um, pet it out.